Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some accessories for my router table. My router table folds down for space and it flips up really easily, like so, and it's completely solid. I've only made it recently and this first accessory is a bit of an experiment. So I'm going to try and make a feather board using some MDF. Using a scrap piece of 9mm MDF, I marked out a piece the same width as the router table and drew a guideline about 2 inches from the side. I then tidied up the end before cutting the board to length. I made some test cuts to work out what the right spacing should be for the little fingers. And having established the spacing, I marked up guidelines along the piece. I then slowly adjusted the stop on the saw slide until it was cutting to the guideline and then proceeded to make cuts at 45 degrees. At the pillar drill, I drilled two 10mm holes which would be used to connect the feather board to the tree track. I had some M8 screws, but the heads were a little too thick for the tree track, so I used the bench sander to make them a little thinner. To make the knobs, I found a scrap of 3 quarter inch, that's 18 mm MDF and cut out some holes using a 20 mm Forstner bit. If you're enjoying this video, now might be a good time to like and subscribe. This really helps the channel as it increases the visibility and encourages me to continue making videos. Thanks. Then using a hole saw, I cut out the knobs. Then using the spindle sander, I tidied up the knobs. I then fitted M8 threaded inserts into the knobs. The design for the feather boards that will fit to the fence need to be different from the feather board that I've just made. So I draw it out on some scrap MDF and start cutting out on the mitre saw. I'll cut it to length at the very end as the spare MDF is useful for holding the piece in place. I then finish the job on the band saw. I made two of these feather boards. The first one I cut out this triangle, but I realised on the second that it was probably better if it was left in place. Finally, I used the router table to cut a groove in each side of the feather board to allow adjustment for different thicknesses of material. I've sketched out this design for a push stick on a piece of MDF. It's about 14 inches long in total. I'm going to cut it out on the bandsaw and we'll see if it's actually the right sort of shape and everything. So I cut it out on the bandsaw. This saw didn't have any dust collection when I restored it, but with the help of my 3D printer I was able to add it. It now produces almost no dust and it's one of my favourite tools in the workshop. Then to make the push stick nice to hold, I round off all the corners on the bench sander. I 
I had some self-adhesive rubber that I had left over from a repair to some electronics. So I add a little to the push sticks to make it extra grippy. I then used the completed push stick as a template to make another one. Finally, I wanted to make a bit guard. The idea behind this is really to protect your fingers against absent-mindedly reaching towards the spinning bit, but it should also prevent any chips from flying to up towards your face. I cut a small length of wood from some scraps in my scrap bin and routed a slot into it. It was a bit fiddly being a small part, but it would have been impossible without a trip to A&E without the table feather board and push sticks. I then cut a small piece of perspex and tidied it up on the bench sander. Then using super glue and accelerant, I glued the perspex to the wood. And that was about it. Here you can see me using all the parts I made to cut some rebates. Everything felt safe and well controlled and cutting these was very quick. By the way, it's speeded up here three times for your convenience. So I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed tinkering in my workshop. If you have, then please consider subscribing and leaving a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.